From my interactions with people, I found out that a lot of them do not know the right time to send in their application to schools, to universities in Canada. So that's what we'll be talking about in today's video. When is the right time to send in that application? Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Ije Oma and on this channel we talk about undergraduate studies in Canada and I encourage you to do it yourself because it is something you can do. Like the intro says, a lot of people don't know the right time to send in their application to universities in Canada and in this video today I'm going to be telling you so that you know you have first-hand information. Now, for the fall session of every year, the right time to send in your application is October of the previous year because most universities in Canada open up their application portal for fall session in October. For instance, we are already in 2023 and I would like you to know that applications for, by the time you'll be watching this video, applications for the fall term for 2023 would have ended. In Canada, you can start either in September or January or May. So for the 2023-2024 session, you have three terms. But the May term, the May to August term, is what a lot of schools call the summer session, which is optional. The summer term is optional in majority of schools. But the compulsory terms are the fall terms and the winter terms or spring terms as some schools call it, all right? So fall starts September, winter or spring starts in January. Now, if you are targeting fall session, if you're targeting starting off in September, the right time to send your application would be October of the previous year. So for people that have targeted fall of 2023, it's already too late to send in your application. So why don't you look at the January term or the May term? But the only disadvantage is that all the programs are not available in the January term or in the May term. It is only during the fall term that every program is open for admission. Every program is available. And that is also the time you can get scholarship. Most schools give scholarship only to students that are starting in the fall, in September. These are the things I want you to know. Now, you don't have to wait for your child to have finished WAYEK before sending in your application. For instance, if you have a child that is entering SS3 by September of 2023, the right time to apply to schools will be October of 2023. Because they base their, their admission decisions on your other results. When you send in your transcript, they know that you are still in secondary school. They know that. So they don't expect to see your WAYEC in most cases. Most schools will give you conditional admission pending when they receive your WAYEC. So they are basing their judgment on your other is on your on your on your grades before your WAYEC. In fact, they look at your results until first term of a final year in secondary school. So that is what they look at. So if your child is already about to write Wayek, and you want him to start off this September, it is already too late. That is if you have not applied yet. The, the only option you'd have now is to apply for him to start during the January term or May. If the program, if the course he wants to study is available in those terms, I'm sure you understand what I mean. So the right time to apply is October. Most schools open up their application portals in October. 
So if your child is in SS2 now and is going to SS3 by September of this year, by October of this year, start your application process. Because they give you deadlines for document submission. They already know that your results are not complete. So they would wait and, you know, by the time they look at your previous performance, they will base their decision on that and then give you conditional admission, send you an offer letter that you can use to start processing your study permit. Because we all know that study permit process is a long one. So when they give you that offer of admission, that conditional offer, you can use it to start processing your study permit application pending when your YF comes out. And hopefully, if you perform very well, you will get a substantive offer. All right, so that is what I said. Let me bring you away because from my interactions with people, I found out that they are not aware of this information. So that is why I brought it to you today. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please kindly click on that subscribe button and also turn on your notification so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. And then like the video, share the video, drop your comments in the comment section. If you have any questions, free, be free to send in the comment section or my email. I always respond to emails. So thank you guys so much. This brings me to the end of today's video. I will see you in the next one.